Hi, this video will show how to set up a simple kinetic measurement with TCAN's eye control software. Your first steps will be to come here and make sure that you've picked the correct plate definition from amongst the list of plates. The second step will be to select the plate wells that you want to measure. I'm going to go ahead and shrink this down to make some larger size on the screen. Then you're going to take the kinetic cycle strip, place it here, and decide whether you want to repeat your kinetic by virtue of a number of cycles or over the course of time. For this example, I'm just going to use number of cycles and type in something like 12. There will also be an option to produce sort of a wait time or interval for the kinetic to repeat itself. I'm just going to reveal, uh, reveal this now and then explain a little bit more about it after we've put some steps in play. My first step will be to shake the plate and my next step will be to measure the plate. Let's go ahead and type in something like five seconds here. We'll put an amplitude of three. Our measurement will be 450. I'm just going to type in three flashes and no other settings here. So this now would begin reading, shake for five seconds, excuse me, shake for five seconds, then read at 450 and repeat itself over and over but within a one minute interval. So if this took 30 seconds to perform these two steps, there would be another 30 seconds remaining before it would repeat itself again. If this is turned off, this sequence will just repeat itself as fast as possible. It's important to understand that the interval time you place here must be sufficient enough that the step here and the steps beneath can be concluded within the amount of time that you've defined. If, for instance, you were to have something like 20 seconds typed in here, and uh, this is going to take 5 seconds, and this is going to take another 30 seconds to read the plate, well, that's definitely longer than this 20 second interval, and the software will give you a yellow warning as it's collecting data saying that it cannot meet the interval. If that is the interval you want, you're going to have to do something like select a fewer number of wells to read and uh, test to see whether, you know, perhaps shaking for five seconds and then reading one, two, three, four allows you to get through quickly and uh, complete the kinetic in the time frame that you want. When using kinetics, it's important to understand the meaning of the indentation. When two steps like this are indented, beyond this step here, that's known as nesting. So anything that is indented below this kinetic cycle will get repeated for the number of times or for the duration specified here. For instance, shaking for five seconds, reading for 450, if you wanted to in perhaps measure it again, like that, this reading will also be repeated within this. But if you were to right click and release this strip, now this strip does not get repeated these two strips will be repeated 12 times and when that's done it will produce a final reading here. I'm going to go ahead and right click and delete this one and just show that under normal circumstances you might do something like this where you drag and place a move plate out step here and this one is also nested but that would mean that it would repeat this move plate out step 12 times which you don't want so right click on it here make sure it's released so it's not nested. Once you have the settings for your kinetic, the other consideration is for data export and make sure that here under result presentation that you have your kinetic tab set up with the preview representing the way that you would like your data to be displayed. Here we've got the well data running down the page with time stamps running down the page as well. There are ways to send the data out across in a row-wise fashion, so now the wells run down the page and the time runs out across the page like this. You can explore this a bit more on your own, but that's the basics. This is an example of what the data output will look like as it's collected into Excel. For purposes of this video, I've just simplified the settings so that we have 30 cycles, one reading, and then at the end the plate will come out. So what you would do is press Start, and we'll get a measurement in progress. And within Excel, you can start to see the data being filled in. Also, if you want to see the details, it will show you which wells it's measuring. 
And also, after there are more than two points collected for a well, you'll be able to select a well and see its trace. Because this is demo data, there's not any very interesting looking curves here. Also, you can look at different labels, meaning different readings if there are more than one uh, if there's more than one reading within the kinetic, you can see the different results by selecting there. There's options for pausing and stopping. Once your results have been collected, you'll see them here in Excel. And that concludes the video. If you have questions, please contact TCANS Tech Support. Thank you.